wanted to show you here at Lacy is, is we were just talking uh, in, in another episode about the fact that Apple doesn't handle uh, USB 3, and so we're looking for solutions for that. For the Express Card on my laptop, uh, for my computer, uh, people are starting to put out peripherals. Black Magic is putting out peripherals with USB 3, and here you have um, this is an Express Card solution that'll handle USB 3. So I, I'm hoping that, that this will work with the intensity, uh, the new intensity uh, um, studio. So, uh, and this is also one that you can put into your uh, into your computer. So um, there are solutions for USB 3, and and once again, let's see has them. Okay, we're here at Convergent Design, and this is called the Nano Flash. Now, there's a couple reasons that you might want to really look into one of these. These are, uh, uh, they're about $2,900, so it may seem like, well, I'm buying another camera, but it really is, is, is an interesting product. So what you can do here, is this pops on, as you can see, this, this, is, a, this is one that's in, uh, in use here. So you've got SDI in, you can also do HDMI in. Interestingly enough, you go SDI in, HDMI out, so you can convert those if you want to um, within the box. But more importantly, you've got two compact flash cards that go in here. So these compact flash cards pop in here. Uh, you can put two 64 gigs in, or 32 gigs in, or 16 gigs in, whatever you want to do. Um, and you can, but you can capture at a much higher rate, as little as 18 megabits a second, and as much as 280 megabits a second. Now, if you get over 50, it's going to it's going to go to 422, and you're going to and of course the higher you turn it, the higher quality you're going to get. If you're shooting green screen, um, being able to get a higher quality out of the camera, the camera's capable of it. You want to shoot those interviews, you want to do those things, um, but you don't want to shoot it to XD cam because it's, it's compressing it too much, it's beating the crap out of it. So so what you want to do is get something that's going to get less compression in there, um, and this is one of the ways to do it. Uh, at with 264 gig uh, cards in here, you can actually at at 50 megabits a second, which would be enough for definitely live coverage like this, you can get five hours in one of these. And so it's also a great way to back stuff up. Uh, it's a great way to um, do time lapse, do uh, over cranking, under cranking, all of those things are possible with this as far as what it captures out of the camera. So once again, this is convergent design. So we're here at Blackmagic Design and these guys went crazy. I mean, they went crazy. I don't know. I don't know what happened between last year and this year, but they had a lot to show this year. Uh, they, they really are moving at full speed. Now, the first thing they did is they bought DaVinci, and a lot of us were like, I "Wonder what they're going to do with buying DaVinci? Why are they buying DaVinci?" Well. They dropped the price is what they did. So now you can get a software only version on the Mac for $9.95. It's going to be shipping in the summer. And it's $9.95 for something that was a quarter million dollars before, $100,000. I mean, there's a lot of people at Technicolor and Pacific Title that are going to be probably freaking out. But now this is a uh, color corrector. It's like color. And it's very, 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 very powerful. If, if you're going to be doing this day in, day out, uh, you know, it, it's going to be a worthy uh, uh, compliment, really, to color. I think that if you're doing, uh, I think color is great because it's totally integrated in the Final Cut Studio, and, it, and it's going to give you a lot of power. But this is this is an industry standard, and for 9.95, it's pretty exciting. Now they've done a lot of exciting things. So check this out. So as we go over here. We'll go down here. This is stuff, the multi-bridge we've already seen. Um, but we can go in here, and this is, a, uh, this is an Ultra Studio Pro. Now this is about $8.95, and what it lets you do is you've got a lot of connectors in here. So it, it, it's kind of pretty, too. Um, but it lets you do, you, know, you basically can take your SDI, HDMI, component, composite, S-video, you know, all that stuff can be brought in. Uh, and, and again, you can see your levels. Sometimes when you're capturing, you want to see all that stuff. So that's going to allow you to integrate it. Now this is, um, you know, this is going, all going into USB 3. So the thing about USB 3 is that they're starting to add it, but you're only going to see it on PCs because Apple hasn't added USB 3. I don't know what Apple's thinking because it's going to be a really problem for us because we want to, we want to use these things uh, and, and we can. So let me, let me show you another cool device here. Now, a lot of us have, we, we, the Intensity Pro. The Intensity Pro is a card that before you could put into your computer, but it was a card, it was a pain in the neck. You could only put it into that computer, you had to commit to that computer. Now, if you have a USB 3, again, uh, Apple, USB 3, because uh, mm -hmm. uh, you need it for the bandwidth. Now, now you have a lot of the, the, the connectivity that you had with the Intensity Pro, but it's an external device. So you can just pop it into any computer you need to be able to capture to and, uh, and, and, and put it in here. Most importantly, the HDMI in. Of course, you can also do HDMI out. You've got your analog ends. You've got all the pieces that you need. And, and here's the thing. This is a 199 solution um, to pull this over, but and now that would be enough. I mean, I think that'd be pretty exciting. But I got to show you one more thing. So you're gonna come over here. Here we go. Check this out. So now, last year we talked about this. this is a video recorder. So this little video recorder here uh, allows you to do SD uh, input. So you were able to take an SD input, uh, just analog, and be able to convert it in real time to H.264. Well now, 
you have a H.264 Pro recorder. Now this is taking, uh, you, can, you can actually have HDMI in or HDSDI in, and it's going to convert that to, in real time, it's going to convert it to H.264. And so it's going to, and this is, this is only USB 2, so you can use this with your Mac. Uh, this thing is going to move like hotcakes. It's $345. So you're going to be able to grab this in Leo, I hope you're watching, because this is going to be very, very important. Now being able to really get that all into the, into the system and be able to just pop your USB into your computer and get your H.264 back is just going to be a great way if you're generating stuff on the fly that just has to go straight up to the web. So once again, this is Blackmagic Design and it's exciting. Exciting.